from a handheld voltmeter to a sophisticated network analyzer, there are various instruments with particular application to analyze an electric signal. However in the majority of cases an oscilloscope and a spectrum analyzer sufficiently serve the purpose. Ever since the introduction of the first commercially available oscilloscopes in the early 1900s, they have become an integral part of any signal analysis from monitoring a patient's heart signal to looking at the output of an FPGA. They can adequately be used to find the overall timing behavior of an electric signal or the delay between two signals. When a signal is manipulated by other sources or when it is marginalized by noise, oscilloscopes do not provide the sufficient information about the signal. In these situations a spectrum analyzer can provide a comprehensive frequency analysis of the signal. The first FFT-based spectrum analyzers were introduced in the mid-1960s and became widely used in many engineering applications. In theory, a signal's frequency spectrum is its presentation in the frequency domain based on the Fourier transform of its time domain function. Any signal like a square wave, can be viewed as a composition of a number of sinusoidal signals with given amplitude frequency and phase. The oscilloscope shows a combined voltage behavior of all of these sine waves with respect to time. However distinguishing the composition of most signals requires analyzing their corresponding frequency amplitude and phase spectrums. The spectrum analyzer displays this frequency composition as in the case of a square wave. There are other times when the time domain representation of a signal does not provide the adequate information about the signal. In these situations its amplitude spectrum is particularly helpful. Interestingly, these are types of signals one should expect to deal with in the real world. The spectrum plot shows the presence of one or more dominant signals in details. Additionally they display other components of thesis signals. For an initiated engineer, these components are particularly meaningful and can describe much about the nature of the signal. In fact, the spectrum plot can be thought of as a complete signal library with each component of the plot containing valuable information.